He thinks this active winter has led to the most flight disruptions in 25 years. Airlines have canceled more than 75,000 domestic flights since December 1st. And this next storm could also impact travel once again, especially those who are hoping to get away for the February school vacation. And today we caught up with many frustrated travelers. From the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson joins us now from TF Green Airport in Warwick with more. A lot of frustrated faces here behind me at TF Green Airport where a handful of flights were canceled due to the winter weather. I talked to some of those travelers about their turbulent experience. Uh, Charlotte cancellation was bad. Yep. A tense mood inside TF Green Airport as hundreds of people found out their flights were canceled. Coventry's Adam Sykes says his family was very upset when they found out their travel plans were derailed. My son woke up crying because <laughs> he couldn't go on vacation. That vacation to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic will have to wait. The Sykes family flight via Charlotte was among more than a dozen departures and several arrivals that were grounded by winter storms across the East Coast. Yeah, it was a little frustrating that uh, you know, we've been planning this trip for several months now, and uh, at the last minute it got canceled by uh, Mother Nature, but, uh, you know, nothing we can do. The travel trouble is even worse for Caitlin Dutra. She's trying to get to Arizona to see her sick grandmother. But after her flight was grounded, she couldn't find any other alternatives. Unfortunately, every single airline, every single airplane out of here, out of Boston, out of LaGuardia, every single airport between here and there is completely booked. And with so many people in the same situation, making future flight plans has already proven to be difficult for Dutra. I have to end up calling before Monday, so probably today or tomorrow, get a complete refund on my account or on the whole entire trip. And for some of these folks, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. I was told that some people may not be able to fly out until next week at the earliest because of the backlog at this airport and others around the country. With the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.